And here we are for the week five nightcap for Griffle Ball. We got the Taco Drivers taking on the Stallionaires. Stallionaires two and six coming into today's game. And the Taco Drivers are six and one. And in case you missed any of the early action, a lot of runs scored in game one between the Gas House Gorillas and Ducks in the Pond. They won nine to six. Then the Ducks on the Pond with the upset of the week, 19 to eight over the Gas House Gorillas. And then the Burr Gang swept the Nighttime Ninjas. In the first game, 15 to 12 and seven, and in the first game, 14 to two. And we are ready to go here for game number one. Up first is Matt Kuna. First pitch to him, high and inside. Jackson BC on the mound today, two and zero oh so far this year. Hits it up, and it's going to be a foul ball. One and one to count. Two and zero oh so far this year with a 3.3 ERA, 15 Ks and four walks. Kuna gets a hold on, but it's right at Vogas. Had to shuffle a little to his right to make the out for the first out of the inning. And up next for the Stallionaires, here's Aaron Ross. Doing pretty good so far. First pitch high off the basketball pole. Ross so far this season. Fouls one off. Hitting 176 with an RBI. And eight walks. Got that OBP in the 300s. High, make it two and one. Buzz last outing he pitched against the <laughs> against the dugs on the pond didn't have a very good outing. A little bit low, three and one. A hit, two and two. Next pitch from Buzz, three and two now. A little bit of trouble. Dugs jumped all over him for six runs. Aaron Roth gets a hold of one, but it's going to slice foul, so the count remains three and two. And believe it or not, Jeremy Radishak is not in attendance, the commissioner of the league. And Buzz gets in the strikeout with a quick 1-2 inning for the Taka Drivers. And we go to the bottom of the first, scoreless. And we are ready to go here in the bottom of the first. Leading off for the Taka Drivers here is Jackson Buzia on the mound. John Reyna, first pitch, a little bit high for ball number one. John Reyna making his first appearance since the opening week. Jackson fouls one off, make count one and one. Reyna, so far this season on the mound. No decisions. 2.86 ERA, five walks and one K. So five to one walk to K ratio. And he hits him twice. That's going to put the first guy on base. Next up for the Taco Drivers, here's Ryan Vogus. Gets a whole one right back at John. He can't make the play. Good effort, though. That'll be a single for Vogus. There we go. It's a guy on first and second here for Chris Bartley. <laughs> Bartley so far this year. First pitch fouls it off. Hitting 372 with a home run and six RBIs. Count now one and one as the pitch was outside there. Reyna could be a little bit rusty since week one. Next pitch. Two and one. Does have one of the four GBL saves though. Ooh, swings right through it. A little bit of change of pace there. Count now two and two. Line up in the pitch. Strikes him out for the first out of the inning. Here's Buzz walked earlier, like 30 seconds ago. Guys on first and second. Here's the pitch. Pops it up, but it's gonna go foul. A little bit late. <laughs> Count now 0 and 1. A little bit inside, just missed. The arm of the lawn chair. Count now one and one. Here's the windup. Gets a piece of it. One and two the count. Stanley there's a good opportunity here. And an eight ball, his teammate. <laughs> three, and, three and two the count. Jackson gets a hole of one and slicing off the pole. And that's going to be a three-run home run for Jackson Buzia. And the Taka drivers take a three-nothing lead. That, that was slicing, and it just kept slicing. And it looked like it was going to go foul, but at the last moment, it hits the pole. And that's going to be a home run for Jackson. His fourth of the season and his 21st RBI. So just like that, Taka is up three-nothing. And up next here is Vogus, singled right back at the pitcher in his last at-bat. That first pitch to him. High for ball number one.
Swings, fouls it off. Count now one and one. Jams up a little bit, and that's going to be an easy run down for Reyna in right. We're the second out of the inning, and we're going to go to the second. Taka leads with a Jackson home run, three to nothing. Well, we are ready to go here in the top of the second. First pitch to John Reyna, fouls it off. Like Reyna so far right, this season. Right back to him, I like it. In two games, 273 with two home runs and three <laughs> RBIs. A little bit inside, one and one. If you remember that home run, it actually gave him the lead in week number one. They ended up winning that game. One of their two victories so far this year. <laughs> Counting out two and one. I Good pitch. Good fastball from Buzz. Make it two and two. Oh. Nice little fastball, a little cut movement there. Strikes out Reyna. And up next here is Josh Ross. Ross so far this year. 062. He's got three RBIs on base percentage. 444. First pitch to him. Fastball for strike number one. Make it strike number two. And just like that, count is now 0-2. Here's the next pitch. And he got him. A quick 1-2 inning, just like that. And we're going to the bottom of the second. Taka leads. 3-0. We're ready to go here in the bottom of the second. Chris Bartley is going to lead it off for the Taka drivers. Wants the swing. Good eye, though, for ball number one. Now I'm here joined by the manager of the Bird Gang, Matt Sarowski. How's it going today, Matt? Oh, I'm feeling good, man. Fresh off the sweep. How do you feel about it? I'm feeling very good. That was huge. 2-0. Two and one, good fastball there from Reyna. Yeah, there. Big good. offense today. Yeah, hitting yeah. last in the league coming into the game. Next thing you know, 29 runs get put up on the board, and everyone's yeah. like, "What is happening?" Someone lit a fire on our team, and they got pissed today, especially Andy. Strike two there. I like it though. I, I the Thank you. I stay alive. <laughs> Barely staying alive by barely, <laughs> and another an eight ball. <coughs> So. <laughs> Two strikes here on Bartley. Hits him. Bullseye. Counting out Griff full. Right now, a little rusty. Coming out here today. And he walks him. Yeah. 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 Walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, here is Jackson Buzia. Buzia one for one in today's game with that. Big three run home run in the first off the pole. <laughs> Another good opportunity to, <laughs> to get some runs. Another good opportunity for your boys to put some runs on the board for himself as well as his team. Buzz working the pole again, but this time that is actually fall. Fall. Fall? <laughs> fall? Don't know what I said there. Ripped one back up the middle. Kuna tries to one hand it, but looks like uh, the ball's kind of broken there. I'm gonna give that a single for Buzz. It's a tough play there for Matt. Tough play for that was a really tough play. I think Nate might be the only one who can make that play. Nate and probably Ryan Bogus. First pitch right at his head. Sorry. <laughs> Bogus hits one right at Kuna. No movement out there. Come on, come on, come on. For the first out of the inning with Matt on first and second. Here's Bartley again. Walked in the first plate appearance in the inning. First pitch to him. Hits him. I think he ran his hit about four batters today. Next pitch. Off the basketball pole. High. Two and up. Almost hits him again, but it was so far inside that it almost hit the camera. Counting out three now. Four now. Four oh and one. And if you heard, the manager, Jackson Buzia, gives him the green light. Doesn't matter, he's going to load the bases with a walk. And here's Jackson Buzia with a chance to bring in a couple more runs for his squad. John Reyna looks a little bit rusty. I'd say, you know, this is his first outing since the week one, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's a long layoff for any pitcher. One another count, and our commissioner has finally decided to show up to the NAC cap. Uh, 2-0. And, and he has the speaker, yeah. thank you. 3 0. He couldn't buy the strike zone. <laughs> trying, to find, trying to find the zone with the lob balls here. And Jackson take it, takes and advantage of it, and it's going to be caught oh! by Matt Kuna as he takes out the Fets. What a play yeah. and right. And we're going to have to take a break to set the Fets back up. We'll be back Jeez. in just a moment. Can we leave the Fets 
Holy it's down. <laughs> so that will be the second out of the inning. We're going to have to put the fence back up. We'll be back in just a moment with the top of the third. We should 100 Taka three, Stallion Air zero. Awesome. Here we are in the top of the third. If you just missed it, Matt Quinn made a great catch, knocking down the fence. First pitch, fouls it off for strike number one for the second out of the inning and saving a grand slam. It would have made it seven nothing. Kuna gets one, it's gonna go oh, over focus. Oh, and the fence is gone again. And just like that. Oh, what a, wow, a move out there. Let's do it again, that was fun. And that's like a home run for Matt Kuna. At least he only took out half the fence this time. Are we gonna be able to get these games in? Oh my god. And in back-to-back -back plays, the fence gets knocked over again. The result this time is a home run for the Stellionaires. We'll be back in just another moment as we fix the fence. I and we are back after a second straight I, fence malfunction. Aaron, please don't hit it there. Oh, First pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Sakuna so cuts the lead. It's now three to one, Taka. It's his elbow. One, one, and one the count. Two, one, and one. A little bit high there. Looks like Jackson's back in his form after having a bad outing last time he went out on the mound. Yeah, I mean, three, one, and one. You mean? Yeah, yeah. He looks. He looks good. Don't strike. Don't find his rhythm. Only gave up one run at this point. Need help from his fielder out there, not to make a play for him. But three, two, and one. The count. Aaron trying to find any way on here to help his team out. Trying to get some base runners so they can try to get a tie game here. It's a piece of one. Count remains the same. He strikes him out swinging. Next up for the Stallion Airs, here is John Reyna. They'll be there for a while if you change your mind. batting for the Stallion Airs. Number 25, John Reyna. And the PA announcer and music came out of nowhere here. First pitch, ball one. <laughs> <laughs> One and oh, the count. <laughs> Two and oh, the count, a little bit inside. Raider gets a hold of one, and it's going to land for a single over and right. Last year, that would have close been a home run. This year, the fence is there. Said he wanted to take advantage of the low dip in the right field <laughs> edge in the fence. He didn't quite get there, but Josh finds his way on. Oh, Josh Ross needs to get on. See what he can do here. For the I mean, it works for Bazia. And right in front of the game. Oh, yeah. Trying to get his, trying to get yeah, his uh, team some runs, trying to get back in this ballgame. Swing and a miss, count out one and one. <laughs> Ball's getting a lot of chases out here. One and two. Man on first base here. One out, one run already in. I feel like Cole Feldy is easily one of the hardest outs in the game. Josh gets on top of one, but Vogas is right there. For the second out of the inning, and we're gonna go to the bottom of the third. Stallionaires put up a number. Taka leads three to one. You are in the bottom of the third. Focus so far in today's game, one for three. First pitch outside for ball number one. Focus coming in today's game, hitting 383 with three home runs and 10 RBIs. Second pitch, way inside for ball number two. Good movement there from Reyna. Gets it under his bat for strike one. Two and one the count. Bogus gets a hold of one, but it's over Aaron's head for a double. Triple. Oh, yeah, it was in the grass. Triple. Was it? Again, yeah. the triple? Into the triple territory. Just like the rule book says, so if, it lands, if it lands in the triple territory, it is a triple. On the fly. It's got to be a triple. That was a home run last year. Yeah. Now, now it's just a measly three bagger. This one guy now on third base. Nice. As it gets over Aaron's head. Yes. It <laughs> got into the corner. Oh wow! First pitch, ball one. That's what I said. Takes away grand slam. Two and zero. Guy on third base here. Single brings is gonna end. What's the score? Three to one here in the bottom of the third. Yeah. Barley here looking to head on. I don't think we get. He's got a guy on third. Perfect. One opportunity to Ooh, try it right there. One opportunity to take a full one lead. Because if we get a couple in the game, that could be a great gift. Just like five. Yeah. Guy in third base here. Nobody five out. A little bit inside. 
Almost gets the chin there. Took the whole thing down. Oh, no. <laughs> Hi again. That's gonna be a walk. Man of first and third now for Jackson Buzia. He can do some more damage. Trying to put some runs on the board for himself. Little high as he was trying to get me over there for a strike. Let's see if he goes to that right field pole for the third time today. Well, especially because. That low? 2 0 the count. I'm sorry, the second time. Second time. Second time. The second time was fine. First time. 3 0. Beat little BT and Jack and Balls. I was a solid 150 out and I whipped softball back in. 4 0. Cannot find the strike zone here. Probably the green light here for Buzz. He's going to take it. He's going to shoot a single to right. That's going to bring it a run. Takadao leads 4-1. Looks like Buzz gives the 4-0 green light to himself and it pays off. I, I myself, I'm a big 4-0 red light guy. Yeah, you're on base percentage up there. <laughs> First and second. First and second. Hey, we're going to be a timeout here on the mound as Matt Kuna is going to talk to John Randall. We'll be back in just a moment after the Griffith Ball Mound visit. Again? We're back here. Guy on first and second here. Nobody out. Here's Ryan Vogus tripling his last, last at bat. Two for four in today's game. God, I wonder why just telling Kuna to calm down. Kuna probably just telling Randall to calm down out there. First pitch to him, ball one. He got a TV for his living room. Well, gets a hold of one as a single right back up the middle, out of the reach of John Rada. And that's going to load the bases. Load the bases for the Taka drivers, and I think he might be done for today's game. And we'll be back in just a moment as Matt Kuna is bringing in Josh Ross with the bases loaded here and nobody out. We'll be back in just a minute. We're after the pitching change, here's Chris Bartley. First pitch from the new pitcher, Josh Ross. Ball one, Ross so far on the mound this year. 0-2, an 11 innings pitched. 10.43 ERA. But has been pitching better since week one. Three no the count. Josh puts a very unusual pitches with the ball in the other hand, so it's hard to make a play when they come back right to him. You don't see a lot of people doing that these days. 4-0. He's trying to find the zone any way he can here. That's a walk, and it's going to walk in a run as it's now 5 1 Taka. <laughs> and next up, here's Jackson Buzia. Buzz not happy with the first pitch. Where's it? Ball number one. Count now 1 0. Two runs in, in the inning. Almost hits him again. Should have let it. It could have been another run right there. But Buzz, one of the better hitters in the league, wants to hit. Then that might be why. Will it get the pull this time? No. What a great effort from Josh Ross on the mound. As Buzz has been hitting the ball towards the right side of the field and just been playing around the pole out there. What? <laughs> ah, that's no Jay, right? Ballpark noises. Yeah, yeah I, I get it. It's a little more legit. Yeah. yeah. Next like pitch. I want a favor of that? I support it. As long as you three and oh, the five. three and one the count. As long as you find some other ones though. Yeah, no, that's, <laughs> all, that's not what I got. Four and one. <laughs> Red light. Buzz wants a green light. And it's going to walk him <laughs> to make it 6-1 Taka. Next up for the Taka drivers, here is Ryan Voges. So far in his inning, he's got two hits, triple and a single. First pitch from Josh. One of them counts. One pitch in the end of bat, we got the walk-up music. One of them count. 2-0-1. Yeah, I don't remember. I tried to oh, my eye. Uh, <laughs> Short memory. Short memory. 3 0 1 if you're wondering what that noise is in the background. It's mosquito spray. I can't stand bug spray. Yeah, you can smell it from here. Especially when there's not a bug around. And Watson's going to walk in another run for the Taco Drivers. I don't know if you really want to take a hack, but he, he takes. When is Bogus not mad? <laughs> you know, that's a good question, Thomas. <laughs> 
score now seven to one here in the bottom of the third and another mound visit and I think we're gonna have another pitching change Matt Kuhn is gonna go to himself here in the third as they have no outs here and we'll be back in just a moment here we are with the bases loaded Taka got four in the inning so far first pitch Strike one. Chris taking hacks earlier and looks for something to hit after a couple walks. Wow. If, they, if he hits one out here, this game is over. One and two the count. The Taco drivers are a swing away from making this game end in three. And he gets them looking. <laughs> Here's Jackson Buzio with the bases loaded. Four already in the inning. First pitch. One and the count. Ooh, wanted that one. Good movement there. One and one the count. That's what Kuna's really good at, making people. Oh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it, guys. Two and one the count, as I was saying earlier. Kuna pitches to contact for outs. Buzz gets a hold of one. That's going to oh, end it as the game is now over in the third. It's now 11 to 1, Taka, as Taka takes game one of the nightcap. We'll be back in just a moment for game number two.